What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. Today we're checking out Terminator Resistance. A long, long time ago, a little tiny studio somehow nailed the license to Rambo and made a game that was not very good. If you guys ever played that Rambo on the rails shooter, well, they recently got the Terminator license somehow. These guys must be wizards. And I have it on reasonably decent authority that this game is actually pretty sweet, so we're gonna check it out for ourselves. I think this may count as an indie game. I'm not quite sure, but it's made by a really small studio, and from the word of mouth that I've been hearing, it's pretty rad. So let's try it on out. Da dun dun da dun. Da dun dun da dun. Who doesn't love Terminator action? I remember the first time I saw Terminator when I was a kid in the 90s, and it blew my mind. Terminator 2, like the intro to Terminator 2, still gives me chills to this day. They don't make movies like that anymore, man. I love the old analog feel and the animatronics of old movies before CGI came out. CGI has always struck me as being a tiny bit soulless, no matter how hard they try to rework it. And like the old animatronics and everything had a very real, visceral feeling to them because they actually exist in the material world. On August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. Step on the skull! Step on the Yes! You knew it was gonna happen. It has to happen. This is like a Terminator standard. You stomp that skull, Terminator. You stomp it. Come on, come on. Where are the others? Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. Ah! Ah! No! No, no! no. I'm through. This is Private Jacob. I know who you are. Well, Private Jacob, it's time to get active in the war. Alright. I'm gonna get you guys set up with some subtitles, because I know how the internet loves subtitles. Especially with, like, commentary-related videos. It can be tough to get the audio levels just right for game, you know, game dialogue and also player dialogue. Oh uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump over that right there. Can I slide? Oh, I thought I could do like a dope action slide. Alright, turn right, run as fast as I possibly can. Oh, they're coming. They coming, y'all! Run for it. I'm not trying to get terminated right now. Ow, I've been shot. So is he. He got shot apparently much worse than I did. I got kind of shot. He got really shot. Oh, man. I'm going. I'm a going, man. He does know that I have a HUD, right, and I can see where I'm supposed to go from a little diamond. I don't really... He's kind of unnecessary in this whole thing, really. Are you okay? Talk to me. I am. Who are you? It doesn't matter. Right now, you need to find a way to get out of there. Alright. Let's break this stuff down. Melee strikes seem a little feathery, but maybe we'll give it a try on something else. Oh, we got a med kit right there. Definitely take that. Sounds like the good stuff. A trade resource. Okay. Apparently we've got a beer and like a box of... I didn't really read the box, I'll be honest with you. Water. Water's you important. They're no, they're not. Shut up. We're gonna be fine. I like the medkit animation. Kind of reminds me of Stalker, I guess, a little bit. How they actually animated you making yourself... Can I steal the doorknob? Why is the doorknob flashing at me? I guess we can close the door doesn't really seem to be much of a point since there's a larger door right here going straight through the wall. A lot of people don't seem to realize that a door is just a hole in the wall. Like if you really reduce it down to its constituent parts, a door is just a planned hole in a wall. It's weird, right? 
Like, if you have an unplanned hole in a wall, everybody loses their mind. We're not gonna bring the duct tape? You're telling me in the dystopian, destroyed, post-apocalyptic future that a whole bunch of Keds, Nikes, and New Balances, and also some duct tape are not trade goods? Come on. Don't let it see me. Oh my god, that thing is enormous. Alright. Apparently, we're in Pasadena. Pasadena's looking a little rough right now. Pasadena might need a stimulus package. Pasadena might have had better times. Ultra vision goggles. Okay, so we can press V and we can activate our ultra vision. Okay. Please don't see me T-800s. I'm really not in the mood to be seen right now. A slot machine over here. I gotta. I can't mess around with slot machines. I like slot machines a little bit too much. Ooh, good old fashioned 1911. There's a hidden vent behind a picture. Gotcha. Hidden vent behind picture. I can do this. Let's remove that right there. And down and in we go. John McClane style. I've got a flashlight too, look at that. I've got all kinds of utility options. I got a feeling that a 1911 is not gonna help us much versus a T-800. It might like stun him for a second, but I don't think it's gonna kill his ass. I'm gonna go this way. I think we mostly look safe. We got a detection indicator, so real-time visual and auditory detection levels, when it turns red, they're aware of your presence, okay. Oh, really? Well, I mean, we've got to feel out... I'm going to get a little closer. But we should probably feel out how the guns feel, because I think that shooting is probably going to be a major part of this game. How did I know I was going to run out of ammo right before that one died? The gunfire feels okay. It feels decent. It could use a little bit more kick to it. I mean, after all, it is America's gun, the 1911, but... We got like some cans of beans and stuff over here. I don't see anything else around. How many? How do I know how many rounds I have? Oh, I can search this guy. What? So we've got a plasma upgrade. So we've got a Skynet chip and we've got electronic parts. Yeah, let's take them. Hold on. Where'd the other guy go? The other guy chased me over to here. Where's his little dead body at? There we go. Let me. I didn't realize I could loot these. Nice. Metal scraps and electric parts. Sweet. Let's take them. And then we got another sky chip too. Sky Chip 5000, the best chip you'll ever own. Oh no. Yeah, you gotta die. Now that I know that I get loot out of these guys, I'm going to kill everything on Earth with reckless abandon. So we've only got 41 shots left. I know, only 41 bullets. What's there? Hello? There's another one over here. Hold on, I gotta murder him. I gotta murder him for his body parts. Give me a second. Skynet is no longer the hunter. I am now the hunter. Yep. Take that 45 caliber freedom, little buddy. Take it straight to the head. I wonder if I get hurt if I stand in fire, but I don't want to test it. Dude, apparently I can stand in flames like a badass and not take damage. Nice. You know, it's not good for realism, but it's great for being thematic and just looking awesome while you walk up and rescue someone. Yeah, come with me if you want to live. Yeah, the California for the Californians. Yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go with the chemical compounds right there. It makes me upset that Arnold is old now. Why can't, you know, like when I was a kid, I grew up in the 80s and 90s, and Arnold was literally the coolest person on earth. Like when you were a nine-year-old running around in your front yard with a toy rifle. All right, everybody wanted to be Arnold. We can't do this right now, kiddo. I don't want to go with no, you. No, you don't, but we can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. Alright, so am I supposed to pistol whip the little kid, or what am I supposed to do here to get him moving? I will protect you. 
I know you're scared, but staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing it. We're heading there right now. I'll take us there. Come on, let's go. She's got a bit of a Liv Tyler look to Where's her. Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. I came here looking for them myself. So, it's just you then. Well, I mean, you don't have to say it with that tone. Like, oh, it's just you then. Like, you don't have to say it like that. Like, you could have been like, oh, it's just you then? Like, you could have put a different inflection on that. Uh-oh. Ultra vision, protect me! Is there any loot around here? Hold on. I know I'm supposed to be protecting little kids and stuff. But frankly, I believe that realistically, the best choice is to find as much loot as possible. Because you know... Like, you know when we get to the first city, there's going to be some dope guns. And I'm really going to want all of them. And like some upgrades and like some laser sights and stuff. And like maybe some ACOGs and whatnot. And if I haven't picked up enough resources, I'm not going to be able to get those things. And then I will fall into a spiraling post-apocalyptic depression. Okay? I know myself. I know my reactions to stimuli. I need to have all the best loot as fast as possible. Get down! Get down! What's going on? wonder why they made the Terminator so scary looking like you think Skynet would have designed them to be like Huggybot 5000 you know Cuddlebot 3000 needs friendship Cuddlebot 4000 is alone <laughs> he just like sits in a corner looking all adorable like a bulldog and then when you walk up on he's like gotcha bitch and just like shoots you in the neck with a laser cannon I'm just saying we human beings we tend to fall for that cuteness thing like a lot of the time it might have been a more effective strategy happen more often as the line gets closer this Erin, has she seen the Annihilation Line? Seen it? She's been on the other side of it. She tried to warn us, but listen. We're here. How gracious of you to finally join us. Where's your father? He's not coming. God damn it. Tell Ryan that we need to leave, now! Dude, do you think Arnold's gonna be in this game? Like, I know he's got a busy schedule nowadays of, like, selling mobile games and, like, being all, like, old guy buff and stuff. But, I'm just saying, like, he should show up at some point in this game. Yeah, I'm in the video game, yeah. He should just, like, show up randomly just for, like, a 30 second cameo. Would anybody like some biscuit? We have high quality biscuit, if you desire it. That door is locked. I wonder if I get lockpicks or something later on. I bet you we do. I don't see anything that looks lootable in here. Unfortunately, Biscuit has run dry. Oh, well. Someone inform Fred Durst. The Biscuit is over. I think he already knows, though. I think he's probably already drawn that correlation. You cannot leave this area now. Oh, that's an exit zone. Okay. Well, it looked like a seamless area that I could just walk into. So, you know, a little bit of good, a little bit of bad right there. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, you're from the Resistance. Thank you for making sure that Jennifer and Patrick got here safe. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Nah, I, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen. I know that Colin wants us to go, but... I don't know how I feel about leaving anyone behind. Jennifer just got here, and you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for them? I mean, you're from the Resistance. It's your call. Yeah, let's go find the other survivors. It just flashed on the screen that my choices matter. So, let's do it. Survivors. Good, I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You'll probably need it. Sir, are you on ketamine right now? I noticed some slur- Oh, they gave me an Uzi! Video games never give me an Uzi. They always skip straight over the poor old Uzi. At best, you get like a Mac 11. 
No, we got this full piece of fully automatic parabellum Israeli splendor right here. Dude, if I had an Uzi in real life, I would be so happy with the folding shoulder stock and everything. Like, whoo. Ryan told me that you might have a med kit for me. Did he now? So I guess he's the one who rations out our supplies. If you really need it, you can have it. But our supplies are scarce, and I'd rather keep it for a real emergency. So you tell me, do you really need it or not? I'm going to be honest, I don't really need it. I'm just a relentless gopher for side quests. I can't help it. I'll manage without it. I'm glad you're more brave than Ryan. Well, you have to do him like that. I mean, all he did was tell me to come over here and get a med kit. Like, you don't have to call him a coward and, like, you know, mess with his sense of masculinity. It doesn't have to be like that. I wonder how hard this thing bangs. Let's go find out. Can I talk to this guy right here? Chasing ghosts? That's what we do now? Fucking Chill, bro. Chill. Wouldn't you have liked somebody to rescue you before you had that rampant fight with that wild buzzsaw that took out your eyeball? But no, nobody that day came and rescued you before the buzzsaw fell. And now look at you. Got no depth perception. It's just... Have a little faith in something, my guy. Have a little faith. Yeah, that's a gun right there. Alright, now we got ourselves a real firearm. Man, I gotta make some better friends. In real life, nobody's ever given me an Uzi for free just for walking by. Then again, I don't live in a concrete and rebar-coated hell either, so maybe that's part of the equation. You don't want to do that. That's a mistake. You definitely don't want to do that. Anyone there? Ooh, we found like some penicillin or something. That's good because I have post-apocalyptic clap right now. And so if we don't... Ooh, some fabric? What is this? No one's here, but there's loot everywhere. I will take all of it. Every single scrap of loot is now mine. I claim it. I can't open that hefty case right there. Okay. Oh, my guns are ineffective. I am disappointed with all of my decisions. Good God. I like the explosions, though. The explosions are very Hollywood cinematic. I like it. I'm a little bit hurt. Uh, we've got some medium caliber ammunition and some metal scraps and apparently a clip size Skynet chip. Very nice. Definitely take that. I'm going to root around a little bit. I know we're supposed to be rescuing people, but I'm trying to rescue this financial situation. So there you go. Some toothpaste. Everybody loves toothpaste. Who doesn't love toothpaste? Can't open the back. I remember when cop cars looked like that. All the cop cars where I live are like chargers and like sports cars now. It's either that or they're those canine SUVs or whatever. But I remember when they had the old Crown Vicks and that's what cop cars looked like. Crazy stuff. Crazy. Getting old blows, man. The future is pretty rad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to like, you know, boomer out right now and talk about how things were better back in the old days. But remembering stuff. Remembering stuff. Am I right? Remembering stuff. Is anyone here? Anybody? Make sure you shout super audibly so that the bad guys hear us if you're here. Ooh, nobody here but us monies. Okay, so that leads back out this way. I like this. This is actually a pretty solid level-based kind of corridor shooter. But it's also, it's it reminds me of Stalker, actually, weirdly enough. It's not as in-depth as Stalker with the whole, like, realism vibe or whatever. But it gives you enough freedom on the rails to kind of look around for hidden loot and do what you want to do for a little bit. And, like, we could have avoided this side quest entirely and said no and just gone to the next level. Like, I do like how, even though it's a grid-based or, I guess, a corridor shooter, at the same time, it adds little extra objectives that you can take or not take. And there's little loot cubbies and things like that. Metal scraps, definitely probably going to need those for crafting. I'm sure we can add some kind of, like, railgun attachment or something to our guns at some point. Ooh, medkit. Yeah, I'll take that. And small caliber ammo. Anyone in here? Donde esta el survivor? I've come to get you. There's an evacuation point not far from here. You need to get there fast. No, I'm not leaving. Have you seen what's out there? That... That giant fire 
going to get us. You have to destroy it. I already took care of it. It's safe now. Oh, thank God. Thank you. I am kind of raw when it comes to eliminating my enemies. I'm heading your way. A little med kit action right there. Some bullets laying around in the back. A little sink just in case we want a bird bath for a second because this seems like a dusty world to live in. I bet we're dusty right now. And we can't roll up and expect respect if we're looking all, you know, dusty. Dusty is not a good look. That's never how I want to be described. It'd be like, mm, how's Splattercat looking today? Eh, a little dusty. Like, that's not, mm -mm, that's not a good adjective for Splattercat. Just leave that. You can done deal that right now. All right. Apparently, there's a Skynet attack. So, let's repel it. I have been known to be quite repellent. There's one down. Ow, I'm being shot. Medkit, heal me. Help my face wounds. There we go, there we go. Oh, it's got a level up system too, so I guess it's kind of an RPG. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, we got a few more coming in. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit fire you. How about that? I do like going full auto. I have an addiction that only non-tap fire Jennifer, can satisfy. Tin cans coming. Jennifer. Get in. Go, go, go. Hold on, we're getting out of here. I'll be honest, I've kind of liked this experience so far. When I see that a Terminator game is coming out, I usually roll my eyes and think, oh god. Like, when was the last good Terminator game? Like, maybe that one with the light guns that was in arcades? Like, it's been a while since the last good Terminator game. Like, maybe since, like, the Sega Genesis days. And now that we have one, I'm kind of excited about this right now. I'm excited to see what happens when we level up. I didn't get to loot any of those bodies. I just thought about it and it made me sad. Mark's about to pass out. We need to stop soon. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Erin. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin, well, you can ask him yourself what he thinks he does. I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. Pacific? You're a long way from home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. So it's true? The Annihilation Line's coming? It wasn't the Annihilation Line. It was something else. Then what was it? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. God damn it! That's as far as this piece of shit will go. Let's get off the road. Pull up over there. We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. I'll be on the fucking lookout for tin cans. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob? It might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. Don't mind me. I'll just be expendable walking into the unscouted building. Don't, don't mind me at all. Apparently, I got some free resources for helping out all those survivors. Oh, we also leveled up. We get a skill point? Nice, dude! I love customization options. I'm sure it's simple, but thus far, this game is actually kind of decent. Like, it's not much of a looker, it's not super pretty, the voice acting isn't great, but the core gameplay feels nice. Ooh, there's a little secret hidey hole over here. A man came by earlier. I don't know him, nor have I seen him before. If he's one of your buddies, you can tell him he's not welcome here. 
You can tell a guy's up to no good when he's hiding his face like that. Okay. Chemical compounds, some fabrics. I wonder if I can make armor or something. Yeah, we've got an inventory system. All right. So skills-wise, there it looks like there's some basic trees here. We've got lockpicking. We've got backpack, which adds an additional row. How's our inventory looking right now? We're looking okay on inventory size, although I usually am kind of an inventory hound. I usually want to upgrade that earliest. We've got explosives right there, stealth, lockpicking, crafting. I can craft level one items. Let's go with lockpicking first. I don't want to miss out on any... Yeah, I don't want to miss out on any awesome loot along the way. And good stuff tends to be hidden behind locks in games. That's been my general purpose experience. Anything in the back of the car? I'm just going to search the outlying compound real fast. I assume there's no hostiles because it won't let me take out my guns right now. Some trade resources, some fabrics. We're not going to open up the ammunition cases? We got some, we got some long boxes right there. Hmm. Electrical parts, med kit, that's the good stuff. Anything that keeps me alive long term is something I'm down with. Your lock picking skill is too low. Well, maybe we'll level up and we'll be able to get in there soon. I think I am going to focus on lock picking as all my preliminary skills. Me thinkies. Some fabrics, trade resource, some gasoline, some guzzoline. Man, still can't get in there either. Oh, there's a dead guy with a beer in there. I want to make a new drinking buddy. Come on, game. Come on, game. Don't be like that. Great to be patient for the sake of this group. But you had one job today and you dropped the fucking ball. I don't have to listen to this shit. Sure. Walk away, asshole. Apparently, we have drama unfolding in between our compatriots because there's nothing like discord among friends in a war-torn area to really guide together the survival experience. It's oh, I gotta have a lockpick too? Okay, so I gotta find metal scraps and make a lockpick. Sounds good. Uh, we can make a med kit if we've got... Where, what, are, what are the ingredients for a med kit? Oh, okay, so it takes a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It takes two metal scraps for that. How many do I own? Apparently a lot. Okay, we'll like, make three lockpicks then. That looks good. Crafting is always a solid addition to a game. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh, there's a lockpicking thing. Rotate the pin, then try to turn the lock. Okay, so it's the... Ah, it's the mini game from Fallout 3. Gotcha. Ooh, AR-15. Yeah, let me get that M4 right there. Let me get that thing. All this for us? Oh, did I startle you? What do you want? I'm so glad you asked. Since we're stuck here, I figured I'll go see if anything's creeping around the corner. I hear that you're looking for the resistance, and where I'm heading, they used to have an outpost. I wouldn't mind backup while I'm out there. So what do you say? Buddies? Talk to Ryan and see if he needs anything. I'm moving out now. Let's meet at the bridge. And don't make me wait, will ya? Hi, Brody. Sounds good. I just want to get back to looting this room over here. Yeah, there we go. It looks like I earned myself some goodies. Small caliber ammo. We got bed rolls. We got sleeping pads. Pipe bombs. Pipe bombs. There you go. That's the good stuff. Enough med kits to last a hot minute. Yup, we got enough med kits to stitch on a leg now. My name is Splattercat. This is Terminator Resistance. The last game this developer did was not very good, so I'm surprised to see, like, it's weird when developers turn a corner like this. This time around, they seem to have done a pretty competent job. The game isn't pretty. It doesn't have great voice acting, but the core mechanics are solid. Shooting feels cool. Killing stuff is fun. I want to level up more. I want to craft more things. It's fun finding loot. And so I'd say, hey, seems like they did a pretty solid job. You can get this game down below in the description if you wanted to purchase it for yourself. 
Honestly, I might be going a little light on the game just because I love Terminator stuff and we never get good Terminator video games. It never happens. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for being here. If you don't know who I am or what I do, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile. Defines what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so you don't have to. I'll have something hot and fresh for you off the skillet tomorrow. And thanks for stopping on in. Goodbye, everyone.